thought today we'd talk about um, CCing a piston. So, kind of a standard piston has a, usually has some kind of um, a depression either for the valves, the valve reliefs here, or in the middle to uh, help set the compression ratio of the engine. Some pistons are domed, some pistons are completely flat topped. On a 944, to control the compression ratio, the head stays the same, and there's a whole bunch of different varieties of pistons. This is a standard, um, normally aspirated piston. It's got its, its depression, it's about that big, about two inches in diameter or so. This is a high compression piston from 1988. This raises the compression, I don't remember exactly what it is, um, nine and a half to one, to 10.2 to one, something like that. But it's a much smaller depression, a much smaller opening there. And then a, a turbo piston, this one I painted for fun, uh, it's, it's no longer good. Um, it has a great big depression here because the turbos run 8 to 1 compression ratio. So the bigger the bigger pocket um, allows that. And actually this big pocket here, there's no valve reliefs. This particular piston, you can see some pretty big marks on the corners where uh, there was a timing belt failure and the valves did hit the, hit the pistons here. Anyhow, I thought I'd focus on the normal NA piston. So what I want to do is I want to accurately measure the volume that all of this takes up. Um, so I've got a, a few things here. One is just a, a plate of plexiglass that I've drilled two holes in, but it's it's about um, this one is three eighths of an inch thick. It's uh, so it's it you know it's not too flexible. It won't bend on me. And then I've got a syringe here that's calibrated in cc's or milliliters. Um, I used windshield washer fluid because it's blue. I thought it would show up well in the video but water or something like that is fine. This particular syringe has this little uh, tube that comes off it, which, which is helpful. But I made my, um, my plate with two size holes, a little hole for the tube, but then the big hole I can just stick the end of a syringe in if I didn't have the tube. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this plate on the, the piston, and then I'm going to you know, the water in it, the windshield washer fluid in it, and see how many cc's it takes. Um, because this is just a demo, I'm just going to do it dry. Uh, if you're really trying to get accurate numbers, you can take a little bit of grease and put a little bit of grease on the top of the piston, and that'll make sure that it makes a, an airtight seal. But for this demo, I, I wasn't going to bother. So I have this filled up with 20 milliliters of, of fluid, and as I start pushing this in, it's going to start filling up the, the chamber area. Hopefully that shows up in the video. And I'm just pushing it in nice and slowly and gently. I don't want to go too fast, otherwise it'll try to come out the top of my little drilled hole. You can see it's starting to fill one of the valve reliefs there. And it's starting to fill the other valve relief. And we're almost all the way full. Right to about there. So, I can look at my syringe. It is currently now at 11 cc's. So, we want 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, the volume of this piston is 9, 9 cc's. When you're calculating your, your chamber volume, it's going to be the volume that's in the space in the piston. It's going to be the volume that's in the head gasket space, or if your head gasket is one millimeter tall and the bore on this is a hundred millimeters, you can figure out the the volume there. So it's going to be, you know, the, the, um, the circumference, which is going to be pi d, or, you know, 100 times 3.14, and then times one millimeter tall. And then you also need to calculate the size of your of your head chamber, which if I can move this over a little bit. I have a head sitting here. You know, the head chamber, you would use the same technique. You use the same plate. You would just, you know, clean everything up. You would set it on top of the, the head's chamber. You'd fill it up with fluid and, uh, you know, see, see how much it took. Now, this would take more than this syringe holds. So, my choices would either be to, um, you know, do it in 20 millimeter increments until it's completely filled up or else get a larger syringe and do that. 
and then you do that and then once you know all your volumes you can uh, easily calculate your your true static compression ratio um, you know the, the the way it goes you've got the displacement which is the bore times the the stroke right that's the the piston moving up and down when the piston is all the way at top dead center whatever space is left is you know the is it's the ratio between the the bore time stroke plus all of these extra volumes to just all those extra volumes so if you start out with 600 cc's and it compresses down to 60 cc's that's a 10 to 1 compression ratio and so that's that's how they do that